In this video, I will show you how to use available VLOOKUP logic in Autrix Designer. So I have two text inputs on my canvas. So I have this, um, the primary table and I have the lookup table. Uh, as you can see, the primary table has one, two, three, four columns, which are the payment ID, the payment date, the account name and the amount paid. And here in the in the lookup table, we have just two column, the string and the flag column that's denoted with Y. So uh, the first tool to drop onto the canvas is the, uh, the find and replace tool. So let's go to our preparation to palette and let's drag the Find and re okay, sorry. The final replace tool is on the join to palette. So come to your join to palette and drag the find and replace tool onto the canvas. So as you can see, the find and replace tool has to anchor. It has the find anchor and it has the replace anchor. So here you will join your primary table to the find anchor and your lookup table will be joined to the replace our anchor. So let me drag these onto these. And as you can see in the configuration panel, we have the find and the replace. And we also have the append uh, radio button. So by default, after connecting the data stream from the, the primary table, which is our primary table to the find anchor, you can see that it selected the account name by default but that by default. And what is the value we are looking for? We are looking for the string, right? So, and in this case, what we are trying to do is that I'm not trying to replace the string with a flag. I want to append. I want to append, I want to join an extra column to, to our primary table. So to, for, to do that, what I have to do is that I have to select the radio button for the append field. So I will click on the radio button for the append field and I will check the flag column. So once that is done, let's give it a run. So this is our output anchor. If I click on this, you can see we have all flag. So why is the Y not displaying? So let's let's go back to our primary table and let's see. Uh, okay, the main reason why the flag uh, column is all known is simply because we failed to check the case insensitivity find. Well, before I do that, let's compare what we have in our primary table and the lookup table. So if you take a look at this, you can see that the the account name is all in an uppercase in capital letters, and in our, in our find table, which is our lookup table, the string is in lowercase. So for us to ensure that we are able to append the flag column to our main table, let's go back to the find and replace two. And we have to check this case insensitive find. So if you check this, and let's give it a run. Now you can see that we have uh, the colon that contains uh, the record that contains the string value we are looking for was has been appended a value of y in our in our flag column. So as you can see, we have the Fash Department LLC, we have uh, IBM Fash Company, and in our lookup table we have what we have. We have company, department, and aviation. So whenever there is a keyword of company, department, and aviation in our primary table, this find and replace tool is going to append uh, a, a column of flag and assign a value of Y to, to that record. So that is the reason why we have uh, the department, the first department LSE that have the department keyword is assigning value of Y 
in the flight column and for the call for the company as well and for aviation as well. So the next thing is that for us to clean our data, I just want to see only the record that has been appended the value of Y. So what I need to do is I have to bring in my, my filter tool. So to do that, let's go to our preparation tool palette and let's bring, let's drop the filter tool onto the canvas. So once we drop our filter tool, then I will do a basic filter by just writing a very simple comment. I don't have to even write a comment. I can use the basic filter to select uh, uh, the, the, the exact of value that I want to pass into the flag. So I will select the flag column. And when the flag columns equals what? Equals Y. So let's give it a run. So if you take a look at the filter too, you can see it has a true anchor and it has a false anchor. So the true anchor is the condition that was met here. And this is, it display, displayed only the record that has the Y value for the flag column. And for the false, the false, the false would dis display the, the record that has only the word, the, the, the non value. So when that is done, you can see that I've, I've appended the value of Y in the column flag to only this record that contains the keyword of department, company, and aviation. So the last thing for us to do is that we have to bring in the the browse tool for us to display our work. It's for us to display our result. You can also add the browse tool to the first, uh, first anchor. So let's add one to the first anchor as well. And let's give it a run. So you can see the first anchor browse tool has been selected and only the record with the non flag value was appended to this record and for the for the value of y you can see only the y value has been appended to the uh, to the uh, main table in the flag column so this is the simple way to to do a vlookup logic in Autrix designer thank you